Yay! Um, hello. Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing. This is my first ever anything resembling a live stream. So I figured do it on Instagram because why not? Because I saw my friend Julie doing it. And I figured that was fun. So I was like, hell, let's give it a shot. So uh, originally the idea was that I'd talk about like um, any new DVDs or Blu-rays I bought. But uh, you know how it is with, with having a job, you know, your first job and you're trying to balance out money and all that. So uh, nothing uh, uh, that fun or exciting. Um, don't worry, I'll save this to my camera roll. So if you missed it live, you can see it as a proper video. Uh, later, probably on YouTube. Uh, I'll probably upload it to YouTube. That that, that might be fun. But uh, really, what uh, I'm gonna do is I have a, de a fairly decent burgeoning vinyl uh, collection. So I figured, why not talk about that? Uh, I've only got about an hour to babble about it. So why not? I mean, who doesn't like music? I can't play any of it because the record player isn't in uh, my default bedroom now. So. Uh, and I apologize if it looks grungy, you know how it is, day off, you you know, you lie around in bed all day so you end up looking like a damn hobo, but uh, nevertheless, uh, I wanted to at least share um, some experiences, some stuff, you know, don't worry, uh, uh, this is probably not going to be really for real actual live by the time most of you see it because I don't exactly have a immensely strong presence on Instagram, but I figured I should start doing more. So why not talk about uh, my vinyls? So I'm literally just reaching into the vinyl box that's propping the phone up. So it's really random what comes up. Uh, so one of them I have is Harry Styles. The album Harry Styles did. And let me tell you that as a person who in no way expected to be into anything resembling One Direction or the such, it, this this is really really a legitimately good album like go go listen to it on spotify it's like it came right out of the 70s in the best way you know so it's it's like really well done all the songs are like really well written they're performed really well uh he's he's got really good an ear to make it sound retro in that it sounds like oh wow this could have come out in the 70s without it sounding dated if that makes any sense and uh, his lyrics are pretty good. Uh, they're straightforward lyrics, like he's not trying to write uh, long, complex poems. But, you know, they're, they, I don't know, I, th I think the lyrics are really, are really good as a whole. Um, this is the little booklet, see, there's him looking all, you know, it's, it's got lyrics, you know, it's, it's got uh, all sorts of Tumblr aesthetic photos <laughs> on the inside. Uh, like, I, I don't even want to think about how expensive that suit is and the fact that he got to sit in the tub and, you know, God, I can't wait to be rich. But uh, it, it, it really is, you know, a legitimately really, really good album. Like, I cannot recommend it enough. I, I listen to it quite often uh, when driving, when chilling around, you know. Uh, obviously, it... Yeah sleep interior sleep uh it sounds great on vinyl like it, it really you could tell this is something that was a labor of love and he really 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 did want to make something that was good you know like this isn't just oh i'm gonna release a solo album because i'm harry styles of one direction it's like no i'm gonna release a solo album so that i can be you know and I, I think the kid's talented, you know? I mean, I saw Dunkirk. He was great in that. Um, he plays one of the British soldiers, so he's he's really damn good in that. You know, so I, if he wants to keep acting, I say more power to the guy, you know? He wants to keep making music, more power to the guy. Uh, my sister bought tickets. He's going to be in Miami, uh, and I think she'll lie. So hopefully I'll be able to come. She bought two tickets, so in all likelihood, me and my sister are going to go see him because I guess I've fallen into that garbage pile. I'm sorry. I'm garbage. <laughs> Uh, and now another one, um, this is way more old school and arguably more, oh, oh my gosh, the phone fell. Uh, I'm so sorry. Way more representative of my overall vinyl collection is Pet Sounds, and it probably is all weirdly mirrored, so it looks weird, but, uh, Pet Sounds by the Beach Boys, which, let me tell you, is 
Again, an amazing album. I highly recommend it. If you've got the time, take some time to listen to it in mono, which is on Spotify, luckily. You look up Pet Sounds Mono, M-O-M-O, M-O-N-O, and uh, you'll be able to hear it. It's really beautiful. It's got like all these beautiful vocal harmonies. The lyrics are very nice. Uh, they're, it's, it's really unique, you know, even all these years after it was made, it, it, it sounds unique, you know, you, you don't, you, you can hear like, oh, wow, I've heard music like this before. Well, it's come from this album. This, this album made the Beatles do Sgt. Pepper. So if, if that doesn't give you an idea how influential this album is, then there you go. Um, so this is easily one of my favorites in my collection. I really wish I could listen to it more often, but I haven't cleaned it in a while. So uh, you got to clean vinyls every so often because they get dusty. They, and so that means they pop and they sometimes hiccup uh, when they're dirty. And so I need to clean it, but really take the time. Give this a listen. I, I, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Uh, so uh, let's see what's next in the good old bucket. Hopefully the phone won't get knocked over now. Uh, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer's. <laughs> I know, weird cover. It's done by the guy who designed the monster from Alien. Um, I don't know if you can read that. It says brain salad surgery. So I don't know if this will show up facing the right way. But uh, this is Emerson, Lake, and Palmer's, I think their fourth album. Uh, see, it's got like this really fancy, like open it, right? And then you pull out the interior. Right, and this has got like the record on the inside. Oh, hi Thea. Uh, <laughs> my aunt just joined to watch me babble about vinyl for an hour. Uh, but really, this is another one of those really nifty old school albums. Hi, uh, I see it as a, a little wave message. I, I, so uh, I'm just really babbling. Uh, this is not scripted. So, but yes, uh, this is ironically my sister Paola's favorite album in the whole set. She plays this as background music all the time because it's like 70s progressive rock. So for those of you who aren't my aunt and don't already know this band, um, this is worth a listen if you're into that. If you like, uh, I don't know, really melodramatic keyboard solos, you're gonna you're gonna find a lot. No, the album is not an hour. The live stream is an hour. Don't worry. Don't panic. Uh, you can come and go as you please. Don't worry. I ain't keeping anybody chained down. But I'm just talking because I figured why not. Uh, my aunt is like going, oh my god, don't spend an hour talking. Uh, but uh, yeah, it, I like it. I mean, I like it. I mean, if you're into in prog rock longer songs, then I'm pretty sure you'll find something in here that's probably worth it. Uh, particularly most of side one in particular, side one in particular, you know, which has Jerusalem in those feet in ancient times, walked upon England's mountain. Yes, at brain salad surgery is a gift. Uh, and now the next in the slot of thingamaboobs is everybody's favorite breakup album ever, which is Fleetwood Mac's Rumors, which is the best breakup album ever, the only one you'll ever need. Um... And this is an awesome album. I cannot overemphasize how awesome and amazing this album is. It really is. And there's something stuck on the cover. There we go. This is like really good old fashioned classic, uh, you know, pop rock from the seventies. So we play this, th we play this one a lot too. Uh, again, I, I gotta clean these. I gotta like take time to like clean them that they play pretty and everything. But th th this one is beautiful. A lot of really intense, you know, emotional breakup songs, you know, and, and probably some you guys may have heard, you know, if, you're, if your parents listen to the radio and stuff like that. You know, don't stop thinking about tomorrow. Don't stop, you know, stuff like that. You know, The Chain, which was in Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Uh, you know, all, all, all sorts of really freaking awesome music is on this one. This one is... It's bye, dear. Uh, go back to what you were doing. Uh, I won't impose. Uh, my dear just had to go. But, uh, so, yes, again, highly recommended because trust me, vinyl is expensive. You can't 
just buy willy nilly like I really recommend you know hearing the album on Spotify and then going yeah I'm gonna buy this but this 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 is like perfect perfect music on this album um and then the best Queen album ever which is the one with Bohemian Rhapsody which I'm pretty sure you all know you know cause this is the real is this the real life or is it just fantasy we're caught in a landslide no escape from reality it's Queen. There's a bunch of other awesome music on this one. Like, just it's not just Bohemian Rhapsody. Bohemian Rhapsody is actually like the last song. And oh, I didn't know they printed the lyrics on the inside. That's that's freaking awesome. Uh, but it's freaking awesome. This album. Like, if you like Bohemian Rhapsody, the rest of it is is just as awesome, and it's got like a ton of variety. So it's not like the same sound over and over. It's a it's a bunch of real variety. So it's really 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 cool a really cool album uh and so again highly recommended and yes these are so far all on spotify so if you have the time pop these on on spotify and give them a listen i highly recommend it um next in the pile of the, the box of wonders is the beatles abbey road and so far, this is the only Beatles album I own. Um, this is one of my favorites. They're all, like, perfect, though. All Beatles albums are perfect. Please, listen to the Beatles. Um, this is, again, um, perfect music all around. This is the one that has come together. This is the one that has something. This is the one that has Here Comes the Sun, you know. This is stuff that, basically, beginning to end, perfect music. Um, and, again, I cannot recommend it highly enough, really. Um, really, like... If you haven't heard it on Spotify yet, go go give it a listen because it's it's freaking awesome. Um and again, uh I love the cover and wow, there's a lot of dust on it. Uh the cover is awesome and iconic. The music is iconic, and the best part is that this was the last stuff they recorded before prof you know, before they just disintegrated. So it it's it's better that they went out on this than if it I mean Let It Be came out after, but this was recorded last, so it kind of feels more like a, well, that's it, we're done, goodbye. You know, it's like they're even walking across a, a road as if they're walking away from the life. I don't know, I'm, I'm getting way too metaphysical about the album cover of the Beatles album. They, they weren't big on symbolic albums, trust me on that. Uh, and then we have an album that I admittedly haven't had the chance to properly, you know, go through all the way through, but I know like 70% of the songs or maybe like half the songs on it, and that's The Black Keys. So everybody loves The Black Keys. Uh, the album is Brothers, but they titled it, this is an album by The Black Keys. The name of the album is Brothers, so it's just Brothers. Like when you look at it in Spotify, again, this is on Spotify. Uh, right, I think this one has a poster inside. Uh, I know it came with a CD, but yeah, it has a poster. Uh, let's see what the poster is. I haven't had a chance to laminate it or whatever, but like that's pretty dope it's got the lyrics on the back uh, I don't know if you can see them now now, now you can see them uh, so this is really good old fashioned well, good old fashioned it was recorded in like 2010 but it's real it's got oomph it's got punch uh, it's like this kind of garage swamp rock blues rock sound so like if you like if, if, if you like lonely boy you'll like this so uh though this is is slower and more on groove you know so it it, it feels if, if it makes sense swampier you know it's recorded in in the recording studio's basement so it's kind of got like this sort of heavy thick sound but it, it it really really works for the music being done here all these songs sound 10 times older than they actually are. It's kind of like with the Harry Styles album. So it's this sense of retro-ness while still feeling new that I like. I really like that kind of music. So uh, again, super duper highly mega recommended. Take the time. Um, next is an album uh, my mom, my mom, my mom loves. My mom loves this, The Clash, London Calling. I like a lot, a lot of the, I like quite a few songs on it. Uh, I'm not the biggest Clash fan, but you know, good music is good music. So, you know, it's a double LP, I think. Yep, it's a double. Uh, it's got an awesome album cover. I mean, it's got London Calling. It's got 
Guns of Brixton. It's got lost in the supermarket. I don't know anything else here. <laughs> I feel like an idiot. Uh, but yes, um, my mom saw these guys in concert. Um, and she saw them... Uh, I think the cover photo was taken at the New York Palladium and the bassist Paul Simeon, he says he wasted a perfectly good bass guitar smashing it, so mood. But uh, my mom went to their Sandinistas concert and they, I think, played a lot of what was on this album. And so uh, she kind of grew up with this because this came out like night, December 79. So that was like right when she was, you know, in a music at the most. Um, so... You know, if you like punk, if you like old school punk, it's like, rock out, bro. You're bound to find something here, even though it's it's got a lot more um, complexity than you. <laughs> punk. So that that's always good. Um, I can always appreciate that, you know. Uh, oh, I only got three, four left. Okay. Uh, okay, this one's fucking wild. Like, look at this. Look at this shit. Uh, this is Captain Fantastic and the Brown Dirt Cowboy, which is my mom's favorite Elton John album. My mom, big Elton John fan, but then again, who isn't? So this has got, you know, a bunch of great songs, you know. Um, this is like him and his lyricist at their peak powers and also one of the most beautifully messed up album covers ever. I mean, look at this craziness. This is friggin' insane as an album cover. I really wish they made album covers that looked this cool nowadays, but they don't. And so, again, this is one of those that I gotta, like, properly sit and listen to because I'm a nitwit who doesn't properly listen to his vinyls. He buys them and then just lets them go to pop because he's terrible and evil. But my mom loves this album a lot, and my phone fell again, so look. Wow, my leg. Uh, but really, again, you can't go wrong with Alden John. You know, so there's a lot of great stuff here. Uh, and it's basically semi-autobiographical about how Elton John and his best friend slash lyricist Bernie Taupin made it big and how the life in the music industry affected them and stuff. Um, so, you know, you got a lot of songs talking about that, which is always cool. Um, you know, you got Someone Saved My Life Tonight. You know, you can't go wrong there. You got the main song, Captain Fantastic. You got Bit of Fingers. Uh, gotta get a meal ticket, you know, curtains. Uh, so some pretty freaking solid, and this is Elton John at its peak. You think the Lion King music is cool, but this is on steroids. Uh, but let's see what else is. Why is it upside down? No. Who put this in upside down? What, what fell? One of them fell. All right, there's like an order to things that I like. Okay, I want to fudge. <laughs> it keeps falling because I'm kind of balancing it on my charger cable. Led Zeppelin! Who doesn't like Thank You, Thea? I want to say thank you for getting me this. It's a bit old, but you, you know, I, I, I appreciate the thought so much. I, I, I really should use it more often. It's just kind of old. So it, it's got some wear and tear on it, which is a shame because this, this awesome album freaking kicks ass. This is the one that has Stairway to Heaven, by the way. This is the one that has Black Dog. This is the one that has uh misty mountain hop you know this this is good old-fashioned rock man like th th this will make you turn turns boys into men and girls into women you know you 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 mature if it makes any sense listening to this it, it, it just it's 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 fantastic so really led zeppelin for the fourth led zeppelin album so uh it's literally, uh, they didn't give it a title. They just put a bunch of old runes because they were weird. They were into like that at the time. So everybody just calls it the fourth album or Untitled or The Hermit or Symbols. But most people, like, if you look it up on Spotify, it's the Led Zeppelin IV as in v IV, like Roman numerals because they're British and they're pretentious. Uh, so, but the music isn't pretentious. The music is awesome. So if you like rock, this, this is awesome. You, you're stop the video and go go listen to it please D do me that favor um now we're gonna get in some real old school um relatively speaking and the phone fell again um chairman of the board the boss the real boss 
The best ever. The legend. Frank Sinatra. Strangers in the night. Two lovers waiting. This is at first sight. This is again another one of those albums that my sister loves to play out loud, that my grandfather owned, my mom loves, you know. And really, you can't go wrong with Frank Sinatra. This is classic vocal jazz, easy listening. You know, you sit back, you put this on, and, like, you chill out, and you know you're going to be hearing some classy music. You know, you're, you're going to feel like you're living in an episode of Mad Men, but with less moral corruption and less sex, <laughs> and hopefully less existential guilt over how you... But, like, in all seriousness, yeah, you, check it out, you know? Like, I don't know how many of you might be into vocal jazz into this type of old-fashioned music, but if you like Michael Bublé, this is like Michael Bublé, but cooler. And more robust, at least to me. You know, it's got that extra gravitas, um... sincerity, I'd say, that I never really feel from Michael Bublé, but that I feel from this, that I feel from Sinatra. You know, I always think he felt the songs he sang, which is important for singing these types of old-fashioned songs, you know, so... You know, he is the times. Uh, he defies the back cover is so melodramatic. He defies fads. He stayeth. He is no more and felt more about the stuff songs are made of the words of poets. Uh, th th this is something they wrote about him. I love him. But. You know, this. He's, he had such an awesome, incredible voice. And it's always beautiful to hear someone who was, you know, really talented doing what they were really good at. And you can't go wrong with that, with the, and this. And hi, Nathaniel. Um, the last one, um, an album I haven't heard in a while, and actually the only Pink Floyd album I own in my phone fell over. Uh, here it is, Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon. And I haven't heard this album in a while, actually, but look at that, that is... Oh, they had the lyrics. I keep forgetting they have the lyrics on the inlay. And this has got a poster, too, I think, in here somewhere. It's, like, stuffed in. It's got, like, a bunch of... Th th this, you got value for your money, man. Like, uh... Look at that. That. Um, MP3 download. Um, if you want to use the code. The code's on the back, like... I could text it to you, I could message it to you, but uh, it's got posters, and I think these were the original posters that came with it. I gotta be careful. That does, you know, these were the stuff that people who took too much acid would put on their wall, which is ironic because, you know, cocaine. The uh, after Sid Barrett left, Pink Floyd was never really a drug band. Like at most, I know that uh, Rick Wright did coke in the '80s, but who wasn't doing coke in the '70s? Uh, they smoked weed, but, you know, tea and crumpets, that's it. They're really boring in that way. Uh, but really, I think this this is easily, I think, the album that best sums up their musical, lyrical... That's why I gotta get these laminated. Their musical and lyrical aesthetic without being overbearing, because uh, Roger Waters got, like, really overbearing. Like, Lord knows, if you look up Roger Waters nowadays, all you see is about how he said some really not smart thing about somebody who slighted him. And there are the stickers. Look at that. Look at that. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but I don't know. Maybe I'll stick it on my laptop when I get a laptop. If I get a laptop. I love a laptop. Give me a laptop. And then, you'll, then I'll be your friend forever. Uh, but... You know, this is, this, this is a concept album in the sense that it's, it's a common narrative slash thematic thread throughout and really again this is some great music um you probably maybe run across it on a couple of random internet videos where they'll use a bit of it for when someone drops acid but thankfully you don't need to be high to enjoy this because it's got some beautiful guitar stuff the music is great money like bow, 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 down, bow, 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 you know it's it's it, it, it's Pink Floyd, like, condensed to its purest 
Pink Floydness, if that makes any sense. So it, it, it's, it's basically a bit of everything of their thematic output, you know, so without being too overbearing because, you know, nobody wants to be overbearing. Like, it's not the final cut. Like, dear God, you know, thank God it's not that. Uh, but this, this is a beautiful album. I got to get more Pink Floyd albums. Like, if, if I could, I'd have the Division Bell. I'd have, I'd have all of them, really, if I could, on vinyl. I'd have them all because there's, there's really great stuff on all of them. Uh, or if, I don't know if people riff albums, you know, you can get a lot of mileage out of the final cut. Um, you can get a lot of mileage because it's basically Roger Waters screaming about politics for about an hour. Um, it was the eighties. Uh, but really that's it. That's all I have in my vinyl collection. I'm sorry. I don't have any more modern, more modern stuff. I don't have any David Bowie yet. Um, I keep thinking I should get some Bowie. I should probably get something like Heroes. Maybe uh, Heroes, Black Star, you know, next day, something like that. Uh, but I got to get some Daft Punk, that's for sure. I got to get some Daft Punk. Like, if I can get my Daft hands on some Daft Punk vinyl, that'd be, that'd be freaking fucking awesome, you know, and Nathaniel. Uh, but, yeah, I figured it would be fun to do this because it's just something to share with you guys. Um, again, I'm going to save it. So obviously most of you watching this besides my aunt and my brother, Nathaniel, who freaking lives in the house with me, my aunt lived, was in Virginia and was apparently notified, but yeah, uh, I'm sorry that I'm not a more engaging person. I, if, if, you know, this is my first time, you know, um, this is the first time I've ever done anything like this. Um, and I do hope in a week, maybe two weeks to, uh, have some blu-rays i can show you like maybe next week you know, maybe i should make this a thing uh once a week that i i live stream maybe wednesdays i don't know it depends on you know work and stuff but how i feel um but uh again all the music comes highly recommended i wouldn't have owned it otherwise um if you've got album suggestions for me to get on vinyl uh freaking hit me up man I love my record player. I really wish I could use it more. Uh, usually it's just a matter of me being at work or me being doing something else at home. But uh, maybe next week, uh, and I can't promise this, but next week I can try to do a stream where I show you all of the Criterion Collection DVD slash Blu-rays I own. And I own like 60 of them, so it'll probably be a much longer live stream. That one will probably have to go up on YouTube. Uh, not, not Instagram, because Instagram has a one hour limit, and I'm already clocking in at half an hour. So, uh, I'm going to say farewell to you all. You're all beautiful people. Uh, I know that, um, Josh, my buddy, is gonna probably be seeing this. Julie is gonna probably be seeing this. Kat, my sisters, um, uh, my mom. Uh, so, you know, hi to y'all. Hi to anybody who follows me who isn't a immediate slat familial relation or... Skype friend, I wave at thee. Um, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this spur of the moment uh, live stream. Thanks.